everybody and welcome back to College Life. Today I'm going to be talking about dorm life and how to really prepare for and what to expect when you get to your dorm for the first time or if you're a returning student and kind of need some refreshers or some new ideas for the upcoming school year in the dorms. Especially with uh, the virus going around and kind of having life be different for the dorms, it can be stressful knowing what to pack, how to prepare, how to handle roommate situations, and things of that nature. So today I'll be sharing my tips I used this past year in the dorm to kind of help you guys know what to pack, what to expect, how to handle different conflicts and different things as they arise. To hopefully make your transition into your dorm room much more smoother this school year and overall have a nice happy roommate situation with your roommates this upcoming dorm uh, life and dorm season. So onto the tips. The first tip I recommend is that you really want to get to know your CA or your RA. And basically we know what these abbreviations are, they're basically your community advisor or your resident advisor. And these people are upperclassmen typically and they're going to help you get used to college life. They're a great resource for having questions about classes, class schedules, about campus life in general. And they're also your first point of reference if you have any issues in the dorm room, whether it be maintenance, uh, roommate conflicts, having questions about something in your dorm room or how to get set up in your dorm room. They're your go-to people because they experience dorm life before they live in the dorms with you. They know a great deal about how to prepare for dorm life and overall dorm living in general. So if you know your CA's name, say hi to them, be nice to them, because of course they're also the ones that may uh, give you noise complaints or might uh, get you in trouble for any uh, damages that might happen in the school year. So you want to be on good terms with them so that way they might be a little bit easier when it comes to some of these things. So get to know your CA or your RA right away. Also, invest in taking some time to truly decorate your dorm room and make it feel like home. This is your place you're going to be staying in for the next few months while you're here at college, pretty longer if you renew your lease or renew your resident contract to stay there for an extra year or future years for your whole entire college experience. So make sure you make your dorm feel like home. This is your study spot, your sleeping spot, your hangout spot, it's all of the above. So you want to make sure it's a place you want to go to every single day after your classes, to have friends over, to sleep in, and make it a really warm, welcoming environment that we also feel happy to go back home for the rest of the day after your classes are done. So decorate your dorm, make it feel like home, make personalize it, do whatever you need so that way you feel happy in your living space because your environment is honestly everything in college. Next, I'll kind of start jumping into some roommate ideas and some roommate tips you might want to follow once you get into the dorm rooms. I also definitely recommend finding friends that aren't your roommate to hang out with. Of course, you can be best friends with your roommates. It's honestly the best friendships to make it with your roommates. But you also want to have times where you can separate yourself from them. You don't want to be around the same person 24-7 because a bunch of people on campus you should want to make friends with. Everyone's super awesome, super friendly on campus. You can make some lifelong friends by just talking to somebody random in your classes. And also you just need some personal time away from your roommates or away from your roommate that we can have some kind of personal growth time and just some time to separate and distance yourself. Conflicts easily arise when you have to sleep with the same person and see the same person 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. So find some outside time, whether it be uh, during your after classes or during lunch and stuff like that for dinner or some social events to go uh, to events with different friends that aren't your roommates. Again, you definitely want to be civil and be friends with your roommate if possible, that you have a great living experience, but no one to have those boundaries and that private time and separate time away from them. That way you can get some personal things done and also have some, some personal mindset and some other friends as well besides your roommates. Also on the topic of roommates, address conflicts and problems as they come up. Don't wait or try to hide them or do not talk about them right away. The quicker you address them, the quicker you can realize what went wrong and talk about what went wrong, that would not happen again in the future. The worst thing you can do is try to hold off on talking about an argument or talking about a problem that happened and then use it and blow it up later in, in uh, weeks later when it's already passed. This can going to make your roommate feel you're hiding problems that happen. It's going to lead to more and more tensions, make the roommate situation honestly unbearable. So do not wait till the last minute to talk about a problem. Whether it be messes in the dorm room, too much noise, whatever it may be, don't be afraid to calmly talk to your roommate saying, hey, can we fix this? I feel like this is becoming a problem. What can we do about it? What can we compromise on? That we're both happy, you're not playing the blame game in any uh, way or any scenario. You guys can both live happily in the dorm room without having to live in anger or kind of passive aggressiveness. That's no fun to live in. I've done it before. It's not fun. So address your conflicts as they come up and don't wait to talk about them. Next, I'll start talking about some dorm items you might want to start buying for yourself. These can be personal items, small kitchen items, shared items with your roommates, and just overall things make your life much more convenient and easier while you're in your dorm room. And also just some basic health tips uh, for things to buy for your health as well while you're in your dorm room. I briefly mentioned noise in the last uh, topic with roommates and kind of handling noise levels and kind of handling problems regarding noise and stuff like that. But I really recommend getting either some earplugs, some nice quality noise canceling headphones, or some eye covers when you go to sleep. That way your roommate's not bothering too much, you can kind of compromise on different noise levels. For me, I've got some really nice Sony headphones, and I also have a little Rainmaker. 
then my roommate could watch her TV, listen to her music, I could go to bed easily at night without having to ask her all the time to turn the music down or uh, turn off the lights or whatever. I could just put my little eye mask on, put my headphones on, and go to sleep or take a nap or do my homework during the school day. So make sure you kind of invest in some of these personal lines for yourself. That way you can compromise your roommate saying, hey, I have headphones on, you can do whatever, it's totally fine. That way it's not just saying constantly turn off your music, constantly be uh, less loud or whatever. You can compromise and things like that. And also it's just nice to have a nice pair of headphones, walk around the classes, um, listen to music, studying um, or watching TV when your roommate doesn't want you to uh, have TV up loud. So really invest in some headphones and some eye masks in case the light's strong when you're trying to go to bed at night. I also consider getting some small kitchen appliances for your dorm, especially if your dorm doesn't have a kitchenette for you to use. For me, I got an air fryer, a little uh, rice cooker that was able to cook ramen, noodles, beans, and rice as well, which is really great. A mini fridge and a microwave. All these were super great because on days that it snows, I live up here in Iowa and I didn't want to go to the dining halls, I could cook a quick meal in my room without having to leave my dorm room and go outside in the cold. So I recommend getting some of these items. I know the air fryer was a really big hit in my dorm room. My roommates made fun of me for it, but ended up using, more, using it more than I did quite honestly for chicken nuggets and stuff like that. So take some time to invest in some small and cheap uh, basic kitchen appliances like air fryers and stuff like that. I know Walmart and Costco and Target have these on sale during Black Friday. That's why I got all my kitchen appliance stuff for my dorm room. So make sure you might invest in these that we can make some quick lunches or some quick meals while you're at home in your dorm trying to study or go to, uh, for dinner uh, for night so you can't go to the dining halls. I also recommend getting some healthy snacks to keep in your dorm room instead of cookies and stuff like that. Of course have them because it's great comfort food but don't rely on them for uh, everything everyday go-to snacks. I know for me I had some fruits like strawberries, some bananas, some granola bar snacks in my room. I kind of like to crunch on stuff and eat stuff while I study. So these are my go-to snacks at the time. That way I at least wasn't eating cookies 24-7. So do your best to try and stock up on some basic small things, basic healthy little items like granola mixes, granola bars, and different fruits and stuff to keep in your room. That way you have some healthier snack alternatives instead of just cookies and ice cream and stuff like that all the time. Which don't get me wrong, I eat that on the daily anyway, but try to do better than me and try to have a little bit healthier diet while you're in college in your dorm room. I also recommend keeping a reusable water bottle in your room as well. Oftentimes, most floors may not have a water fountain. I know mine didn't, mine was on the first floor. So I wanted water, I had to go back downstairs, back upstairs at the time. So I just kept a, re a reusable water bottle or two in my room. That way I had double water and I had two water bottles ready to go whenever I needed them. I also recommend maybe getting like a Breda filter or like a pure water filter that we can keep a bigger amount of water in your dorm room at one time or just use your sink water and filter it that we can use it that way. I use that option as well. It's just as great as having multiple water bottles just to store water. So make sure you have some storage uh, water system in your room that way you're not having to go back up and down the stairs or wherever the water fountain is you're building several times a day or you're not having to drink nasty sink water. I also would invest in getting a curtain, like a blackout curtain for your dorm room. Our room did have blinds, but because our beds were lofted, sun would still often get in through some of the cracks of the blinds and end up still waking us up in the morning at 7 a.m. So I recommend getting some blackout blinds. We use command hooks and a little tension rod to hang up our curtain. That way we wouldn't have to use any holes, no drilling. It's just a really easy fix and no light was getting to the dorm room early in the morning. So I definitely recommend getting blinds or some sort of uh, cover up for your window. That way you can sleep in on the weekends. We don't have classes in the morning without getting waken up by the sun. So I hope some of these tips about what to bring, what to expect, how to handle roommate situations, and overall dorm life tips and dorm life kind of experiences for me might help make your dorm life transition a lot easier. And especially for freshmen, it can be really exciting to get to your dorm room for the first time, but of course you mean they might forget something in your excitement, might not realize what being in a dorm room situation might actually mean, bringing your roommate, how to communicate with someone you've never seen before, never lived with before. And so kind of having some different ideas of what to bring, how to handle different things, kind of how to manage dorm life can be really helpful for incoming freshmen or even for returning students that are coming back to the dorm room for a second or third year. So if you want any more dorm tips, definitely leave a comment down below in the comment section. I'll be sure to answer those and maybe do a future video on them. Don't forget to subscribe to College Life here on YouTube and also on uh, my blog as well, College Life, College Life Blogging, on my Instagram and my Pinterest as well. And so until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!